Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Nobody expected EA to do what they did yesterday for the start of the Footballers promo. They went absolutely all out with the SBC content. I want to talk about all the stuff we got yesterday and how it really could impact the market in terms of prices going down. We could be at the beginning of a true market crash on this game. Over the coming days, this content has potential to impact the market big time. So we'll talk about that in of course, this promo has a good idea behind it, but there are two major problems with this footballer's promo that I want to unpack with you guys today and also look forward to what we can see today on day two of footballers. We actually already know what SPC player we're going to get. We'll talk about that in today's video as well. So if you enjoy the video anytime today, drop a thumbs up on it. And if you have not yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Let's try to just go over all of this content that we had yesterday and talk about what in the world footballers is. First of all, the main point of this whole promo is that they are giving us SBCs, the footballers, right? And they are going to give us SBCs, which we will then take to objectives and we will complete objectives with that SBC card dropped every single day to earn an upgraded version, right? Of course, yesterday, like the loading screen we saw heading into the promo was Luis Diaz. All we have to do is do an 83 rated squad for the 86 rated Luis Diaz to get this 88 rated card. And you might be like, Nate, that's only a plus two. It's not that big of an upgrade. Take a look at his dribbling attributes and some of his upgraded player traits. 92 straight down on all the dribbling statistics. If you take a look compared to his gold card compared to this 88 rated, it's a plus 15 on balance and like plus 9 reactions and composure. It's really a big boost with a kind of cool dynamic image, right? With Luis Diaz on the sideline with the hat on and the coat and stuff. Manager Diaz, as people are calling him. It's really an interesting upgrade and I'm super interested to see the rest of these cards as they drop. That's kind of the hype with this promo. Oh, wow. They've gave, given a dynamic image to Ederson and now Jack Grealish. Like this promo is just different because it's all of the players like not even on the pitch. It's like in their warmups on the sideline. And that's kind of just the different part about it. But these objectives, if they continue like this Luis Diaz, it is going to be fun every single day to log on to this game. Look, it's set up right in front of us. The 18th, today, 19th, all the way to the 23rd next Thursday. We're, we know what player SBC we are going to be getting because EA have told us on that little loading screen, on the infographic here, on the news tab, it shows you, right? You have Luis Diaz, Bamford, uh, Kulusevsky, and the Ox, and you basically will do the SBC and uh, we'll get that card, go into objectives, and then upgrade your card via those objectives to the nice dynamic version and the better stats and all of that stuff. So as long as it continues like it did today with Luis Diaz being pretty cheap. Now, of course, fodder prices are going up like crazy and we'll talk about that. Um, but if Luis Diaz and all the rest of these guys are pretty cheap like this, it's going to be such a W promo because it shouldn't take that much effort. Five squad battles games scoring a finesse goal, guys, is really not that much work for really a super cool card that is going to be pretty meta in game with the very interesting dribbling boost that he has gotten. So if you don't think that's really worth it, then of course, you know, that's up to your opinion. But I just think that is super cool, super grindable content that is so easy to do. And you have two weeks to do it, right? The objective and the SBC are both available for two weeks long. So you have time to do it. You can also combine it with other objectives like the Saudi League objectives that we had yesterday to get extra rewards and squad battles and extra stuff done at the same time. So there's a lot you can do right now. We're going to get even more today. Now, more content yesterday. This was the part that kind of blew my mind, right? Think about this, you know, for example, upgrade packs like the 75 times five, the 83 double, the 82 times 20 and an 85 plus mixed campaign player pack. We got all of those yesterday. That's like a week's worth of content. But wait a second, take a look at this. You can do the 83 double 20 times and then you can do it 20 times again today and tomorrow. It refreshes every single day 20 times. The 82 times 20 refreshes two times every single day. The 85 plus campaign upgrade, which unfortunately does include ones to watch, is the first one I did, the only one that I did. I packed Anthony, a little underwhelming, but I saw people packing foot fantasy cards from this, team of the year honorable mentions. You can do that five times a day as well. And not to mention on top of all of that, we got 
mid Cruyff as an icon SBC yesterday. This is on par with one of the best icon SBCs we have had this entire year. I know it's March. I know mid Cruyff has been available in the game since the start of the year, but at 2 million coins, it was lower than his price on the market. It is definitely craftable. It's out for a long time. You're going to be able to craft it during flip birthday swaps. That is a super end game, super emotional player for a lot of people in this game. And it's awesome that we got a big name icon SBC out there to craft and to work on if that interests you. So all of that content dropping on one day yesterday was just like unbelievable, right? We'd like never have that on a promo Friday. Usually we get the player SBC and it's all about what cards are in packs. But yesterday it was the exact opposite, right? And that's just the whole premise of this promo. But with content being as absolutely insane as it was, looks like Cruyff has bounced back a little bit. He was 2 million coins, basically flat, just under 2.1. He's now back up about 100,000 coins, but this SBC is still good value in my opinion because he was a 2.5 million coin card before content. And some of the best parts about this, I know we talk about leaks all the time and we even had some of the leaks for this promo, but especially for the SBC content and the Cruyff, it was so refreshing to be genuinely surprised yesterday at content um, with everything that was going on in this game. So that's all of the good stuff. In my opinion, there is a big problem with this promo. Actually, there's two, right? The first one is there's no players in packs. And that is the tricky situation right now where a lot of people need fodder. And I mean, we'll talk about that a bit more, but I'm still holding some packs here and I'll talk about my methods here in a second, but there are not any special cards in packs right now, which is making people not want to open packs, except for maybe some of these in the store, the new year review pack or the premium new year review pack, which if I'm being completely honest, guys, don't touch this one. I know it's only a thousand FIFA points, but we opened a bunch of these yesterday. They were not good. This one, at least for 2,000 FIFA points, you get 30 players. This one, you only get two players. I don't understand what's going on with this pack. This one, if you're going to spend FIFA points, that's the one to do. It's only 1,000 FIFA points more, and you get 30 players instead of two. So that's kind of there. It's out for a couple more days. I do expect to see more store packs today. And the provisions pack right now is actually very, very useful because common gold players are very useful for multiple of those upgrade pack SBCs. And we'll talk about crafting. That's actually what I want to talk about really quickly. Uh, it's a struggle right now to get fodder on this game. That's one of the biggest problems because a lot of people are not wanting to open packs because there's no special cards in packs, which if we would have had special cards in packs with this promo, this promo would have been absolutely nuts, right? With special cards in packs, something else out there to kind of grind for and not feeling like you're missing out on something when opening packs, right? Because usually people feel like they are if there's nothing in packs besides the team of the week when they're opening them. Uh, this this promo would be absolutely nuts. But one of the best ways, in my opinion, to get fodder on this game right now is by cleaning out your club. And this is what EA wants us to do, right? This whole thing that EA is doing right now, they are so smart. They're always ahead of us. They're always one step ahead of the curve. But the premium bronze upgrade and the premium silver upgrade that are here right now, if you have unneeded bronzes and silvers in your club, specifically for myself, the silvers, do these until your club is basically dry, apart from maybe a silver squad or a bronze squad that you need get your club rinsed out of all of this stuff that can turn into a bunch of common golds. And from there, you can turn in those common golds to the 75 times five upgrade pack, um, which I think is not as amazing a value as the 83 times two. Uh, but this one does give out. It is five players and it is it's still two squads to turn in. So you get like, it's actually like a 75 times seven because you get a 75 plus rated player from each of those. Um, and then of course you get some fodder, you get some rares, you get to also turn those higher rated cards into like an 82 times 20 or an 83 double. You could also put that into an 85 mixed campaign upgrade or maybe into Croy for an icon pack if you're crafting one of those. So that's kind of the basis of how you might want to start crafting right now is clean your club out of bronzes and silvers into those two upgrade packs. Uh, and then once you've cleaned the club out, bronze pack method is going to be absolutely killing it right now or buying bronzes for 150 coins to then put into those upgrades. And if you want to just skip all of that, you can just buy gold commons and gold rares off of the market for a little bit inflated prices i believe gold commons are about five to six hundred coins looks like 550 right now uh, are sitting on the market 500 are getting sniped pretty fast but you can tell there's going to be so much demand for these sbcs because a you can either save them for foot birthday which is definitely the next promo upcoming or you could open some of those smaller packs right now 
to be doing the SBCs uh, like Cruyff or like the 85 plus mixed campaign. This is my rule of thumb right now. As you see, I have packs in the store. And again, guys, we're talking a lot of like theory and menu stuff today, just because that's kind of the conversation of the content right now. You don't have to do it this exact same way. I'm just trying to offer you my perspective on what I think is maybe the best to do right now. I think you can do a combination of saving packs and opening packs. I am saving packs that have rating guarantees that are above 80. Three. So 84 plus, 85 plus here, my 83 times 10s, I will be saving those. I will probably save the 82 times 20 if I get around to doing some of those as well, just because those are big packs that I might save up to try to pack promo cards from. But anything other than that, let's say Rivals Rewards later this week, Weekend League Rewards, Squad Battle Rewards, anything I get from a cup or a draft, or even doing some of those smaller SBCs inside of here, like if you're crafting Cruyff and you you get like a rare players pack, or that's probably too big of a pack, but maybe, maybe a, a prime electrum players pack or something from doing one of these sbcs i'm opening those packs to at least get some gold cards back into the club because oftentimes from those you're not packing um promo cards anyway and if you're opening tradable packs right now it's actually a fantastic time to do that if you take a look at the price of fodder and that's the second biggest point i want to talk about today is the second biggest problem with this promo is it is very difficult to get fodder. Most people are not opening packs, that's why. And secondly, there's so much demand for fodder, it just keeps going up. And you, you hate looking at the 84s and saying, wow, am I actually going to pay 7,500 coins for an 84 rated card? And here I'm going to tell you today that those prices are just going to go up unless EA do something crazy. Yes, I know it's crazy. And I know it kind of sucks, but fodder is the biggest part of this promo right now. But that's exactly, like I said, what EA want. They want to be draining coins off of this game with all of this content that is refreshing every single day. And it's going to work, guys. I honestly think that if, like, I'm about to do this. I'm about to go club stock some 82s, 83s, and 84s so that we can do some more SBCs and so that I can do more SBCs later on this weekend because I just don't see anything apart from EA doing something wild with a tradable pack or, like, giving out, like, a 50k pack for like basically free if you will it's tradable i don't see fodder being impacted negatively over the coming days because most people are just saving packs for a big promo like foot birthday is upcoming because right now there's nothing going on so fodder right now for me on some levels is an investment but on other levels it's more of like maybe just do a club stock and do what you have to do and just this is a promo where unfortunately guys if you don't have a lot of coins, you have to be really, really careful because you can get stuck in an area here where you're doing a 50K uh, campaign upgrade pack every other day. And this, this type of promo drains so many coins from the market because it's a little bit here. It's a little bit there, but it doesn't seem as bad or seem as much as like doing an icon upgrade pack that's 500,000 coins. But if you think about it, if you do like, you know, five of these, that's 250K plus, you know, if you're doing a couple 83 doubles, you're, you know, you're getting up to 50K. So it adds up very quickly and you got to make sure you have fodder because with this whole grind of the play to style, the, the Wiesti as the Bamfer that's going to be coming out today, right? EA have, have shown us the kind of the dates on this. We're going to get banned for today, right? One of the reasons that EA is kind of getting us sucked into this and, you know, kind of uh, reeling us in and making us want to do this objective and complete it to its full is read the top line right here. Play to earn a footballer's mounts and to unlock the play to style plus objective containing a foot birthday team one pack as a reward this coming Friday. So if you complete all the objectives, Bamford, Kulusevsky, Oxley, Chamberlain, Grealish, Madueke, and Ederson, you're going to get all those cards plus Mason Mount plus uh, an 80 plus times five, and you're going to unlock another objective. That's why you can't see it right now. A play two style plus objective is going to be unlocked next week that we will be able to be able to get a foot birthday team one guaranteed player from that objective so that's where that's going on but guys again right now i would seriously say club stocking the fodder is a decent place to be i know that it's crazy expensive and it even pains me to be spending some coins right now on some of this fodder but if you have coins available really guys i i don't see this going anywhere but up so club stocking some of the 83s try to get as close to 3,000 coins as you can um and if ea do release any tradable pack supply over the next couple of days that could impact these cards a little bit but I doubt it would impact them enough 
uh, for it really to drop their prices a lot. So that's why I'm doing this right now and just putting some of these in the club because I know that I want to do some more of these SBCs, uh, whether it's just to save the packs or whether it is just to, um, you know, do some of the upgrades and have some a little bit of the fun, you know, that's why I'm stocking the fodder right now. I do think these card prices will just continue to go up as we're just going to have more SBCs each and every day on this game and more people doing those SBCs. So that's also why I'm worried about the market there was so much content we had to talk about it for a minute but that's why i'm worried about the market guys because you can tell that some of the market has started to drop right T case in point my transfer list i've got upa Meccano. i know a lot of you guys have invested in the foot fantasy cards i'm right there with you Seven hundred and thirty thousand coins for an upa McConnell card that was 780k yesterday right it is painful to look at some of these price drops Hazard is 625. This is the price that he was in packs. He went all the way up yesterday to being 700k plus before dropping off. This is how a lot of the live cards and the most recent promo cards on this game look right now. Prices are going down. And I want to talk about why it's these cards. The Foot Fantasies, besides a couple of them, are dropping the most and they're dropping the quickest along with some of like Road to the Finals and stuff like that. Since content yesterday, a lot of those cards are dropping the most because the investors are selling. The people that are market savvy on this game, a lot of you guys watching this video that are interested in the market more than the casual FIFA player know that this promo with all the SBC content that's going to be dropping every single day on this game, this is the type of content that drains coins from the market at such a high rate that the market is not going to be able to withstand the high prices that we have held since Team of the Year um for very long or for much longer at all so if i have tradable cards in my team right now i would be careful if you look at the rest of the market you know you look at like some foot fantasy cards or sorry some future stars if you look at team of the year honorable mentions or centurions cards yeah some of these guys are down but they're not down that much i mean look at like fred fred is still 300,000 coins yesterday he bounced between 280 he's actually up a little bit right now now that could be because this is an entirely premier league based promo it doesn't look like we're going to get any other leagues represented inside of this promo guys it looks like it's just going to be premier league which i think is disappointing could they just do this footballers promo later on and continue it throughout the year with other leagues i hope so because this idea is really cool and if there's if this was going on in the background of FIFA, like all the time uh, during the year, that'd be insane, right? That would be great. But if you take a look at some of these other cards, there's not a ton of panic on this stuff. It's more so the recent stuff. Jordi Alba is like bouncing between 90 to 95K. That's where he's been. But the investors have started selling fantasy cards, fantasy heroes, and road to the finals because they know and we know that this market is not really headed into a really great spot so i do believe you're going to see the market continue to fall off and uh you know i'm just keeping an eye on some of these cards i still have a lot of stuff on my transfer list there are still opportunities to trade in this market cards have gone up some of cards have, have gone up right trent centurions who we talked about in last night's video um he has gone up in price i'm continuing to hold this card as the investors sell but as more people complete uh the luis diaz as more people complete maybe bamford today uh to try him out this is just a card that i think still has potential to rise with the links as a lot of people maybe form their teams around some of these new footballers cards so I'm not selling everything just yet. I'm still trading a little bit. I bought this Sancho at 320 yesterday, right? Trading with rare cards out of packs, there is it's still a very viable trading method. I still have all of my fodder. Trading with a couple of Salahs, a Martinelli, but I'm starting to get a little bit just fearful of how this market's going to go, and I think it will drop further today, right? I have the Uf Makanos for 700k. I got the trends for 240. You know, I, pick, I picked up a Foden, I picked up a Martinelli at 370, a couple of Salah informs just trying to trade with them. But the way the market feels, it feels weak and it feels like prices are going to be continuing to drop off. So be careful. That's just my words. Uh, honestly, word of warning to you guys. I think some of the high tier cards too, you know, even like this really expensive VVD, you know, some of your cards that have been super duper expensive for a long time. I think of like a Lucio, um, those types of cards. I just feel like with maybe some pros starting to sell and I mean, foot birthday is really on the horizon guys. We know foot birthday is next week. I would be careful for some of these cards to finally start dipping down again from some of their crazy, crazy high prices. Um, even though this promo is based around lower priced stuff, 
I think a lot of your prices are going to start to fall off in the coming days and even more today. So I know it's not looking great out there right now. I know that prices are down. I know that's kind of scary and it's not fun to talk about and look at, but it is very, very real and it's going to continue to happen on this game, in my opinion, with the way the content is set up. Now, speaking of content, what else are we going to be getting today? Well, we know we're getting banned for today, right? And I can even tell you we're going to be getting an 85 rated Bamford SBC, right? It's literally right there. Now, the question I have is there are a couple cards that were leaked that we actually have not seen yet in the game, specifically Furpo and um, Dan Juma and McGeady. I mean, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day EA. You fumbled the bag. It was a perfect day to drop an 80 McGeady 5-5. They didn't. But we still have a Furpo and a Dan Juma that have not been dropped yet. Curious to see when those will be dropped and how they're going to be introduced. Maybe they'll be just standalone player SBCs. Maybe they'll be standalone objectives. I'm not entirely sure, but I would expect to see the Bamford today. And since Bamford is leads, maybe they would do Furpo at the same time. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I would expect to see him today. And of course, the refresh of all of the crazy SBCs uh, that were dropped yesterday on this game. The other kind of question that I have is we had a lot of super loan packs that were added could they do a cup maybe we'll have another cup mode uh this week which would be very appreciated from a fodder needing perspective we need fodder really bad so another cup giving us more fodder would be perfect so that's just kind of the state of the game right now i know this promo has got opinions of yes i like it no i don't this promo is a w this promo is an l um i, I really think this idea is a w and ea are executing it very very well um but without having any special cards and packs it is kind of painful from a sense as well. I get that too. Now, one thing I will say really fast is we're again in prime time foot fantasy upgrade potential scenarios. Look at Isak scoring two goals and getting the win yesterday with his final second goal. He is up over 100,000 coins. I messed up big time on this card. I didn't sell into the hype. I risked it. I panic sold after they went down 1-0, and then I only bought one on the rise back up, and I sold it too early, and now this guy's up big, right? Again, sell into the hype with your live cards because, yes, you might lose out on some potential profit, but you can, can of course, always buy the card when goals are scored, like I did with Isak's first goal when I bought him at 300k and sold them at 300 and I don't even know what it was like 40 something thousand coins but the other uh, advice I will give you is this is the flip side of the coin Taglifico was 78,000 coins yesterday and he dropped all the way down to I believe it was below 60k I think he's back up a little bit now but he was down to like 58,000 coins after being 78k and a lot of people lost coins on this card yesterday sell into the hype with fantasy foot cards that are playing today on Saturday even tomorrow on Sunday you'll be glad that you did and if if your player does perform enough to get an upgrade or to get multiple upgrades, just buy the card when you get a notification. If you set notifications on like SofaScore or another live score app, uh, then go on the market and buy that card if you want to risk it then and go for that. Or if you just want to hold and you know the risk, then you do you. But that's just kind of the scenario with these cards right now in this game. ESOC upgrade time frame is the question mark uh, for right now. I really think they're going to upgrade these guys on Wednesday. I really do. That's kind of when they upgraded them in the past. So I would expect to have ESOC getting a plus two and going to a 91 on Wednesday with the new team of the week. And that's a normal day they upgrade cards as well. So just so much going on in this game right now. But it was absolutely unexpected how it all dropped yesterday on this game. If you are enjoying the footballers promo, let me know down in the comments what you like, what you don't like. And if you enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Good luck with your foot champs games and your uh, objective games this weekend. If you have not already hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another upload. It's been Nate foot account and catch you guys there. Peace out.